Hey y'all, so I'm coming at you with a little haul, chit chat, I don't, I don't know, vlogging around chat um, of some things that I have bought from Bias Bespoke and um, another Etsy seller that if I remember, I will link below. So I have been projecting, is that a thing? I've been working on a thing, been making a thing. So this is the Black Snails pattern, I think it's their late 1880s, 89, uh, 18 something corset. Um, so I did the cheater's trick and put in scotch tape over my plastic boning. I ordered some corset lacing, which I did a bad job here. I'm not very good at it. I don't know what I'm doing. I fully admit that. Um, from a corset, so like they make corsets on Etsy, but they also have the lacing. So I bought black and I bought white, but I don't know where the white, oh, here's the white. I bought white corset lacing as well. Um, and then the rest of this stuff is from Bias Bespoke. And I'm just gonna kind of talk about like how it's worked out so far, because I've used several of these products. So, excited, yes. I don't know why I did that. Um, anyways, okay, so from Bias Bespoke, I ordered quite a few things. This is a couple of orders because <laughs> I didn't have money to order everything and you know, their shipping was reasonably priced to here. So if you are in Alaska or the territories, you should check them out. The shipping was reasonably priced. And hopefully this time, so I've recorded this video before, this chit chat vlog thing. And um, yeah, it got corrupted. Part of it got corrupted. So um, this is the Tish uh, Gromit Setter. It goes with the um, Bias Bespoke, they, ha they have their own grommet, eyelet, and snap fastener, and they have all different sizes of little snap, grommet, eyelet things that you can interchange in with that. So I ordered the Tish, uh, and I ordered the matching grommets. These were what were recommended for corset making, um, and Bias Bespoke is a tailor and like kind of specialty supply company, so they have cool stuff. I ordered a yard, which this is only half a yard right now, because I cut it in half of um, eyelid lacing, I think that's what it's called. I don't know. But I would actually like, cause I was concerned that the back of the eyelet would be like too rough, um, even with like a chemise or an undergarment of some sort on. Um, but it really wasn't bad, at least when I tried it. And then I ordered a few different tapes and webbing. I forget, I forget the exact names you guys at this point. Time has passed. Okay, this file was corrupt, but I really want you to know and understand, and like talk about some of these things I purchased. And also I have other video that's gonna be like after this. So that's, that's what's going on. So I ordered some um, fusible, like stay tape, woven stay tape basically. I got a three quarter inch in black and a three quarter inch in white. Um, this is really nice stuff. It's definitely like woven material with the sticky tack on the back that you iron on. I've used it on a couple of shirts so far. I really like it a lot. And I get like a hundred yards or something crazy like that for like $6.95. And the Sokeezy tape, which I did order that, but I ordered the knit and I ordered one of the woven just to compare. Their half inch is $9 for 25 yards. That being said, that includes shipping if you order it from this shop, Emma Seabrook, I think she's the one who created it, um, site, um, or 13 would include shipping on Amazon, I think, I, I don't know. Uh, again, if I remember, I'll link it, but if not, I'm not great at shit like that. Oh, stuff like that, so sorry. Uh, but yeah, so I got that, and then I got double-sided, like heat bondy tape. I wanna call it like double, sticky tape, but that's not what it is. Cause you actually like, this is super thin. It's like thinner than like Pellon. Like I can just rip it apart. Um, but it's really nice. Cause like, if you're doing like neck bands that like, this is an inch, I think that was the thinnest they had The or like, um, cuffs, like you can cuff it up to help like make it stay anyways. So they have that. And then they have, they have stitch, um, the stitch witchery, um, in all different sizes, which was really nice. But, like, look, can you see that? That's really nice um and then sticky um the glue dots on the other side but yeah you get like i, I want to say this is like either 54 yards or 100 yards it's a lot i shan't be running out of any any time soon probably so it was a good price 
would recommend this double-sided stuff. I have used it. I definitely prefer the stay tape a little better, but that's only one-sided, whereas this has two sides. Um, so I definitely like the woven material versus this, which is like uh, kind of like that Pellon stuff a little bit, but like even thinner. Like it's really, really thin. And I think this is 100 yards. I forget how much exactly, you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm a bad YouTuber type person. Um, oh, I ordered some universal like organ needles from them, but they're you know, back there and they're in use. So that's why you're not seeing those. Um, and then I ordered some hand sewing needles. These are millinery size. Mil they're size 10, but it says milliner slash straw. I don't know. I just needed some hand sewing needles. So I just picked up 10s because I was like, that's the size people seem to like to use. Um, and then they have a brand of um, thread that I wanted to try. It is called, I forgot, Amanda Esther. Is that Amanda? Amanda? I'm probably definitely not saying that right. But anyways, I got their kind of general all purposey stuff. And then I picked up an all because, yeah. Um, I thought it would be helpful for, you know, grommets and stuff. And I have leather working stuff, or I used to have leather working stuff, but I don't know where that stuff's at. I had a nice awl in there, but apparently it's all gone. I think I'm hilarious, but it wasn't really funny. And then last but not least, I picked up a little bit of steel boning. And I picked up um, a busk based on the measurements of this um course it I don't know I hope I picked the right size really um, directions are like the the directions on the for the black snails pattern are okay but like there are things that I'm like questioning things about so I'm like we'll figure it out I'll workshop it so anyways so that is what I got which it's a lot but I'm really happy overall with this I need to get some, like I have some, I, I just got an order from Mood and I have some uh, muslin that I could use to do the inner layer, which I may do. And then I have some really beautiful black rayon batiste, viscose batiste, it's the same thing. Um, but yeah, so I just kind of have to decide exactly how I want to do it, but I definitely kind of have kind of my fit ideas of what I want to change or not change in my case about this uh, because honestly fit is something I've never really like done a whole lot with so for me this is all completely new um, but yeah so far I'm enjoying it but yes now to the fitting you get to laugh basically at me trying on this corset and trying to figure out how to lace it myself <laughs> it was a thing I did not do well Hello, Clary. No, um, so I have a stupid computer. So I sewed the little strip on, and then I think I messed this up, so I didn't do that this time. Anyways, I'm attempting to lace. Let's see if there's magic, because I don't know that there is. I don't know what I'm doing. That's the full excuse that I'm going with here. Um, so... I'm not even going to attempt to be like, oh, what am I doing? I haven't even Googled it, you guys. I'm just going to wing it because I really just want to, like, video this so that I can get, like, some, some fitting, fitting of myself. Um, although I'm sure, like, the corset, corset enthusiasts and the historical people are, like, pooping their pants because they're like, oh, my God, that's so nice. But, uh, so sorry. I really feel bad for you guys watching this because you can't actually see any of this, and I am not smooth moving with the laptop camera to uh, make it there. There we go. You can kind of see what I'm doing. And I told you it's not a good job. So you were warned. Remember that. Okay? Mistakes. I'm proud of learning. I don't know why I'm making all these weird voices other than like I'm not really uh, yeah. There's a level of like I'm probably uncomfortable but I'm such an extrovert that I really just want to keep talking and talking. Talking and talking and talking and talking. I hope I'm not the only one. Um, now I gotta figure out which side is out. I think this, this is out. I don't ever know. Oh yeah, this is outside. Okay. 
I'm going to try and see if I can figure out the setting this up so that you can see and I can see me. Uh, this is just like, I don't know, probably poly cotton of some sort that I picked up at the mobile fabric store. I should have thought about that, that whole bunny ears crap that people... Yeah, you're gonna definitely see I don't know what I'm doing, which is pretty evident all the way around the world. Top is definitely cute, though. Like, I feel it's like, oh. I mean, and I'm not tight lacing or anything, I should say that. I'm just like... See? The... It looks much better from this side. So we'll just continue to show you this side. I'll just pretend the boob is up. Okay. It's a little puckery. Again, just ignore this side. But no, that's where they go. I like the shaping, though, overall. It's really lovely. So, I think I'm just... I mean, I still have room, definitely. It's probably a little too big given that the top is, like, tight, tightened all the way. All the way. Yeah. It appears to be tightened all the way, and I um, have excess. I think I could probably go down in size. But I'm not using super expensive stuff, so I'm not really worried. But I can tell for sure, I think this is an okay size. I think it cups my boob pretty well up here, and it's supposed to go like in this vicinity. Um, it's definitely got some nice little flare to it in this area. I wonder if it should be like slightly lower. I don't know. Like higher. It's always a question, you know. But pretty excited overall. And uh let's first attempt to go. Whoa. Not bad. Not bad. A little like tight pucker in there, but not terrible. So I just have to kind of work on this a little more and figure it out because this is my first time doing any sort of historical sewing pattern and so there are lots of questions question questionable things for me but I'm excited overall and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this and um, little vloggy vlog of like me trying stuff on and attempting to fit myself via video which I probably will have a better idea after I actually see it but I definitely think it's not bad and What do you think? I think I might. I think I might. I need to take a little trip to my local fabric store for a little fabric venture. So, yes, that's where I'm at. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna close this vlog out because it's really long already. And so yeah, so I hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoyed my little mail call and um, try on. And if you have any resources and suggestions on the lacing and the like corset fitting, even books and stuff, um, or lingerie, let me know in the comment section below. Um, yeah, I'd appreciate it. But this was fun. I will talk to you later.